What up, YouTube? This is Balball here with a brand new video review. This time of Killwalk. So, um, let's get into the packaging. Packaging on this figure is exactly the same as we've seen before. On the back features a very nice picture of Killwalk. A very nice picture right here of the toy. Includes energy blaster attachments. So yeah, you'll see what this does. Uh, Kill's Killwalk bio, and I'll be reading it, and it'll be down there. Killwalk is the intimated drill sergeant that trains new cadets for the Green Lantern Corps. He targets are renowned for pun punishing rookies to their limits, and Hal Jordan is no exception to the rules. With re representing a long length of Bolivies, I guess that's his race, uh, warriors from the planet Balof, um, Wick Kilwag is known known the last of his race so uh, he is the last of his race apparently I did not know that and that's it for the bio uh yeah uh, you can tell I don't I only read these things once um Kilwag uh homeworld Balovic I'm sorry I can't pronounce it and he's sector um 674 so apparently he is the last of his um homeworld due to the bio and I actually did not know that well that's just movie or that's in every storyline I do not know so yeah, um, he is figure three, and uh, let's get into the figure. The figure is great. I mean, this is a nice figure. For what you pay for a normal figure, you get like enough plastic to make two figures. Uh, here, let me show you what I mean. There's Hal Jordan. You could make two Hal Jordans with the plastic on this guy. So yeah, um, his weapon is pretty cool. If you um, go to the packaging, it is actually uh, a multi-attaching unit, which is great because I thought Killwalk won't be able to use uh, my normal attachments. So I'm glad he has this uh, adapter unit. Um, you can see that he's using Max Charge's um, Hal Jordan bow. So we'll just use that one. Here it is. And it's very tight and very secure. I do like it. So yeah, uh, he can use any other constructs. And this will work for the um, battle... Um, Break apart battle construct chapter I did I I reviewed a while ago, um, so it will still work for this. And there are some weapons you could see Killwalk using like the hammer. So yeah, uh, you could see his um, ring is very nice, very big, way bigger than normal. Uh, you can see his. You can't really see the metal paint on this guy's ring, but you can see it on this guy's ring. Fits on his fist really well. It looks nice. Again, apologize. My camera picks this up way lighter than it is. Much darker. And he comes with a wing. By the way, he doesn't really need a figure stand, so... Um, he sports the exact same amount of articulation. He has 360 shoulders, outward, waist, and leg. And the head doesn't turn left to right. It just kind of does that. So, yeah. Um, he features very nice line detailing throughout his, um, figure, including an, I'm not going to say anything. Mattel, what were you thinking when you were making this figure? But he does feature, um, very nice detailing throughout the, um, costume, and I love the head sculpt. The paint applications, the sculpt, it's amazing. This is just a great head sculpt. Now, um... You know, you got this, which you can also pretend it's a blaster, and as you can guess, it doesn't fit. So, um, let's do, um, let's break out some of these constructs I have. Give it to him. Put it in his hand. And, uh, let's start with the one I already showed you. But we'll show it again. Got the bow. You got the, um, fist construct, which... By the way, if you pull it apart, you can actually fit it on his wrist, which is pretty cool. And the one I think is perfect for Kilowog, the mace. This is kill. This screams Kilowog. Remember, your enemies are not going to play nice. Had to quote. Just had to. So yeah, you can see that. This is perfect for Kilowog, and this is really nice, because I did fear that he won't be able to use my Construct weapons. But with this adapter unit that you can also pretend a blaster, it's really nice. So, 
yeah, this is really nice accessory. And he fits really well in scale. I mean, this is massive, perfect scaling with doing three quarter inch figures. Killwalk. I mean, seriously. I'll break out some of my figures that I'm going to display. You can see how big he is. I mean, this dude's huge. He's massive. He's a mammoth compared to my other figures. I mean, seriously. I mean, so no problem with scaling issues. Fits perfectly in scale. So yeah, pick this dude up. I mean, you gain the amount of plastic you would get in like two of these figures. So I mean, really nice figure. Highly recommend it. Killwalk is a must for any Green Lantern fan. I hope you enjoyed this video review and it was informative. I'll see you on my next video review, which will be um, next Friday. So adios, guys. Uh, pick this dude up. Awesome. Adios.